Looking for a way to get healthy? The Chef You and I program has the answer. Catherine Raker and chefs from around the nation will teach even the most inexperienced how to cook. Come into their kitchen and watch them take ordinary foods with loads of calories and fat and turn those foods into healthier dishes. You will be the first to get tips and ideas on foods that are easy to prepare. Now let's join Catherine and today's chef and learn how to make today's recipes. Hi, this is Katherine Raker of The Chef You and I and my really good friend, Maria Dunaway, a chef, a Filipino diver. She does lots of stuff, right? And yeah, she's a yeah. nurse. And, uh, you know, we haven't, she hasn't been over in a while. I was there last year. You were here last year. No, I was here August. In August, yeah. right. So that was and we're still playing all those do you know that yeah, yeah. they're everywhere yeah. but i have something to show you that's a real surprise i made for our we did a diy show for mardi gras and i made these wreaths and here is one of them and i want to show our audience and maria what it looks like actually do you like it i like the mask you love the mask yeah. the mask i bought maria in New Orleans at the world of uh, Mardi Gras. Yeah, the, the, and, is yeah. that an island that you go to? No, uh, wait, I wait, wait, no go it's, on the, it's on the water actually. Okay. And, but that's where they build the, re the not the reefs, but the, the floats. floats. They yes. build the floats I, there. I was and there a I long got time ago. Yeah. I got the mask and uh -huh. I got a uh, really beautiful uh, king uh, necklace there mm -hmm. that I decorated for my daughter and sent her a wreath because she asked me to do it. So that's the reason why. But anyhow, I'm going to put this down. Yeah, yeah Mardi Gras, uh, yeah. the 25th of February. The yeah. 25th yeah. of February. Mm -hmm. And it's really a great time um, to really celebrate. And before great Lent. food before, before Lent. Lent. Before Lent, yeah. Right. So let's talk about what you're going to make today. This is very different. So what are you making? And you're getting ready to go to the Philippines, right? Yeah, I'm going again this year, um, actually in uh, two months from now, March. Okay. Yes. Yeah, and so, so tell us what you decided to make for us. And this looks like a real treat for Chinese New Year. Yeah, that was, um, well, the, the celebration started Saturday. Saturday? That's technically the start of the new year, Chinese right. New Year, Year of the Rat. And... Um, I decided to go ahead and bring you a treat because not everybody has tried it. Like uh, only people with chi uh, Chinese ancestry or in Chinese uh, Chinese um, citizens would know about this kind of treat. It's called a um, Chinese cake, glutinous rice cake. Glutinous but, rice but cake. It's a cake that you fry. A cake that you fry. <laughs> That's very interesting. But anyway, we could do that later. Okay, we'll yeah, do that later. We could do that in between um, the regular cooking. But I want to show you a popular street food that, that I just had for lunch today. Oh, you did? Yeah. Okay, so let's talk about it. Okay. Well, this is basically just boiled peanuts. Boiled peanuts. Break it. So, so for yeah. those of you who are not allergic to peanuts, lucky you, you get to enjoy the protein. It's so rich in protein. Mm -hmm. And growing up, this is a, um, a very popular street food. Actually, when I was nine years old, um, I remember I was in Bohol for summer vacation, and my dad and his um, and his uh, staff, his, the farmers, they they just harvested the peanuts right from the ground, and oh. I was helping them uh, sh shredding it off the off the leaves, off the roots, and all that. And I remember my hands were covered in mud. Mm -hmm. Then I got itchy later on. I don't know why, but I don't think it was an allergy. Thank God, because I you know I grew up with peanuts. Okay, so what are okay. we gonna do first, Maria? Well, we're gonna what we're gonna do is, when we get the peanuts, mm -hmm. usually you get them raw from the store. Like I got this from my favorite international market. Right. You could just get two cups of it, mm -hmm. and uh, you want to make sure it's clean. Right. Well, we've got some water here. Yeah. Well, when you get it from the supermarket, they're clean. You know, yeah. they're already clean and scrubbed. They're not sandy. Right. And you but get, you're gonna boil these. Yeah. So what you do, you just pour it into a big pot of water. Okay. Uh, and then maybe you want to take a couple of the shells out. Yeah, the you might. There's some of them that got extra okay. shells with so nothing in it. So we're going to turn these on. Uh -huh. And just make sure that the water 
level is not too high because even though the um, water is going to boil down and dry mm -hmm. up, right? You, st you might want to keep adding water to make oh, sure that the peanuts are boiled very good. Okay. And then we could just leave it like that because I boiled two cups for about one and a half hours. Okay. So you could do other things while waiting. Right. Okay. So what are we going to do next? You might want to cover this too. Okay, I'll so, cover yeah, it. Yeah, but um, anyway, um, so we got other things we could do. But uh, once you uh, get them cooked, then you have always a ready snack. I'll just do this. Yeah. This is a snack then. Yeah. Okay. Could also be an appetizer. Okay. okay. So while waiting for that, we could um, snack on some other thing like the um, the tikoy. Okay. So you want to cut it up? Yeah. Tikoy is the um, Filipino term for this Chinese dessert. Okay. Called nian gao. I don't know if I even pronounce it right, but what's it's, the uh, in, what's in it actually? It's made of glutinous rice flour. Yeah. Steamed. Mm hmm in water so i'm not gonna show how to do it because i never make it because i could just buy it right so so this is a traditional food that they would have a chinese new year correct right and i i'm not pure chinese my mom has chinese blood but my dad is a was a lawyer and he had a lot of chinese friends and chinese businessmen mm -hmm. so every new year we get a box of these, like big boxes, like uh, this tall. It's a, just a big round gel, gel-like thing. And then we have it, we slice them in thin um, strips, as thin as you could. Mm -hmm. And then... We're going to fry that. Oops. Here, okay. here's another one. I just one. knocked over a fork. Here. Here. <laughs> okay. And then what you do, you get one egg. One egg is fine. Beat the egg very, yeah. very fine. You don't right. want the... You and then want to put the oil or anything it. in the pan? Yeah. Okay. You could use any choice of oil you want. Of course, uh, if you want to be healthier, you might want to use um, coconut oil or can olive oil. Can the producer get me some oil, please? Thank you. Yeah. We got oil here right oh, now. Oh, you got oil? Oh, yeah. I didn't see that. I oil. got olive oil. Oh, that's good. Although maybe you want to try, um, you want to no. try um, coconut oil? I got coconut oil. We do too. Yeah. Okay. So what so, do you want to try? Okay. Well, what do you do? Let's let's do that. Let's go ahead and dip all these pieces uh -huh. of the Jello rice flour. Make okay. sure you coat it evenly. You don't want to make it too th thick because you don't right. want to end up with scrambled cake. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And okay. then you heat up your skillet. Okay. This is the. Pardon me. Let's do yeah. this. Yeah. And oh um. I gotta get that coconut oil. We get. We've got some. Hold on. I got one on the table right now. Yeah. Which one is it? Uh, it's the one beside that powdered milk can. All right. So it's that green and white. Yeah. Okay. No. It's it's a plant based. Yeah. It's like butter, but it's plant based. Yeah. That one. Okay. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. So it's. So and how much do you want me to put into the? Um. um not a lot. We're just supposed to uh, cook at medium heat. Medium heat. Yeah, well, you don't want to burn the egg. No, it's yeah, not. Yeah. Is that much? Too much? Yeah, that's enough. That's enough, actually. And All right, so yeah. you want to get this, and, you, and, and if the, wait just a minute. And how long do you fry it for? Until, it, until the egg is, um, egg is basically done. The thing okay. is, I don't want to make the egg too, th too thick, you know, just okay. thin enough. So... Yeah, that's very. And you just have to make sure you do this quickly because you don't want to burn it. Um, okay. Yeah. So it's instant snack for somebody waiting for the peanuts to boil. Right. I I brought this to my friend's house last Saturday because we celebrated Chinese New Year. Uh mm huh. -hmm. And her husband, her kid, they've never had this before, and they love it. <laughs> Okay, so our camera's trying to show this real quick. Yeah. So. So it just fries for about a minute on each side, maybe. Yeah, and that's it. We're done. So we could just, uh, as soon as it's done, we could transfer it to a to a um, nice plate. Yeah, maybe you want to line it with some paper towels to absorb okay. the extra to absorb it the extra oil. So, the how fact much do you use coconut oil a lot? 
No, just today. <laughs> just, just today. today. <laughs> we... In Philippines, you know, we use the canola oil a lot or even the vegetable oil because it's the most uh, common and more available. But, you know, nowadays, you know, you really have to watch what you eat. Right. And that, uh, you know, I'll, I'll just say coconut oil is one of the healthiest um, oils you, out there. Yeah, even olive oil, you know, um, especially for those who who want to watch their um, their weight. cholesterol, their weight. Mm -hmm. and There's a spatula right there. And you know what I read is uh, when you cook with cooking oil, it helps reduce the cholesterol levels in your gallbladder, you know? Really? Yeah. I don't have a gallbladder anymore. So you have to watch what you eat. So yes. it's good to avoid unnecessary oil. Mm -hmm. Okay. We could take a peek if it's ready. Because uh, yeah. it doesn't take long to cook this. Because this is already cooked, the, gel the jelly-like cake. It's already cooked. All you have to do is cook it again, and it would melt and make it chewy. Oh, really? Yeah, it was gonna be chewy, like uh, like the consistency of um, I don't know, taffy. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> See, is it sweet? It's sweet. Okay. Yeah, when you cook the rice flour in the when you steam it, you you do put a little bit of sugar in it, and mm -hmm. and me, I I don't mind the extra egg in it. Mm -hmm. Why not? But it's better not to put too much egg because you don't want it to look like scrambled eggs or scrambled meatloaf, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah so, okay. Anyway, that's done. It so is? We, yeah, okay. we could just turn this off and okay. then we could save the other one for later. Here, let me do this. Let me put this with a paper towel on it. Mm -hmm. So this is uh, the tikoi. I like saying it. It's it was so hard to find in Jungle Gym. I kept looking, looking around, and I'm the type who doesn't ask around, so I just tried looking until I found one that looks like this. The other varieties of this tea koi are made of um, not red bean, but just pure rice flour, so it would be white. Oh, really? Yeah. So there it is. So you could eat this for breakfast, dessert, or snack. Hmm. So we could actually serve it to our company today. All right. What your um, do you know your Chinese new um Chinese zodiac sign, Catherine? Mm-hmm. You do? I'm not a rat. I am a monkey. I'm a monkey too. Aren't you born in September? No, no. It's the year. 1944. 68. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Earth monkey. So, so in uh, you know, sometimes they say your if it's your year. And you'll be luckier if the if your year would fall on your birthday. Like today's the year. Um, today's the start of the year of the rat. Mm -hmm. So people who were born in the year of the rat, they say it's gonna be their lucky year. My daughter, my cousin, my sister, they think it's gonna be their lucky year. But you know, we make our own luck, right? Right. That's right. for sure. You want me to move that for you? Oh yeah, sure. You wanna serve it, it to taste somebody? It right now you want to yeah. maybe cool it off a little bit i want to cool it off and then i want to that serve. was fresh off the skillet so that's right. gonna be hot huh? you don't want to burn your tongue but yeah this is uh we're gonna let one of our guests try it right and see if she likes it yeah i'm gonna okay. bring more to my friends uh get together we're gonna have another get together on friday so i brought her another batch of these to her house so they could cook it again mm -hmm. yeah right. i know you love this so, so, how much do you want? Two? Okay. Oh, okay. I've been eating this too. Uh, maybe just two. Just yeah. two? Yeah. Okay. Mm. Mm. See, if you feel the texture. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, two for our guests, maybe? <laughs> mm. I got one left. All right. <laughs> and I'll just save it for later. Yeah. Just be careful not to cut your finger when you're slicing this. Okay. Yeah. All right. I need to get more. Okay. okay, so we're going to take a short break, Marie, and we'll be right back on The Chef You and I with Catherine Raker and Marie Dunaway. We are back, and because of the magic of television, mm -hmm. Maria Dunaway is my guest chef today, and she's going to show you the boiled peanuts and what they're supposed to look like. Yeah, this is supposed to look like you know, darker, but with more flavor, and right. when it's cooked, 
it's it, that's the reason why you should boil it uh, according to the directions. Like I right. boil, I have to boil this for one and a half hours, right? Right. But while boiling it, you could season it with anything you want. Like in Philippines, we just they just use salt. Okay. But when we went out to Florida uh, in St. Augustine, there was this big stall of nothing but boiled peanuts, okay. southern style. But some of them were boiled in datto pepper. Some of them were in ginger. Some of them in garlic, which you don't like. And some of them it's were not just... I don't like it. I can't eat it. <laughs> oh, that's too bad. But anyway, right. I didn't bring garlic today. Good. And this one, I boiled it using... Uh, a little bit of anise flavoring. Yeah, which is really good. And my no salt salt. Okay. Okay. And then when, you, um, when you're hungry, you could go ahead and uh, dig in and watch your favorite shows right. on Netflix or whatever right. streaming device you have, you know. Right. Is it like just regular peanuts? Yeah, except um, it's just right. You could tell it's just right because it's still moist, uh -huh. even though I cooked this like uh, this morning. Oh, it just morning. goes like that. Mm-hmm. And it's a little bit purplish or reddish, depending on the variety. And it's just right, you know, not too salty. That's really good. Mm -hmm. And it's just right. Look, it's not raw. Mm -hmm. And it's full of protein. So what else do you want? I don't know. We have to cook the main we need course. Have to, mm -hmm. And now we have to make the main course. And now we have to make the main course. But so I'm going to give some to our guest over here. Mm -hmm. Let her try it. Okay. That's but, Miriam. But anyway, while we're cooking, we could just let this boil. Okay. And then once you uh, finish boiling it, after one and a half hours, you turn it off yeah. and let it sit. Cool. Let it cool in the okay. water. Don't drain it for okay. about an hour. Uh -huh. An hour. And then wash it. Okay. And then blot it, blot the bottom with paper towels so that you won't have okay. all that extra moisture. And that's okay. it. That's it. Yeah. Okay. So you have made some rice ahead of time yeah which you're going to warm up right in the microwave mm -hmm, correct yeah. and to do that to keep it moist just put a sprinkle paper. it with um, some water or put a moist paper towel over it and microwave it or maybe you want to fry it any way you want but okay. whenever we eat soup in philippines we always eat it with lots of rice it's a lots good of extender. rice to yeah. give it a really good flavor yeah. Yeah. okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put a little bit of water on it mm -hmm. and put a paper towel over it is that what you want me to do yeah just sprinkle the water okay i'll yeah. sprinkle some water on yeah it. and then okay. we'll, we could start cooking our our clam soup i call it manila clam soup because when we went to um chicago with the kids um early this century mm -hmm. we ordered this clam soup which reminds me of the one that my mom used to cook but they call it manila clam soup because the clams are smaller. They're like cherry clams. Can you open that for me, Maria? Mm-hmm. Okay. And do we don't want to do it right away, do no, we? No, not right now. We still have to cook the soup, which okay. doesn't take long. Okay. Okay. Because these clams I bought from the international market, they right. were uh, in a package, in blister packs. There's so they're already pre-washed. You won't see any beards. You won't see any sand. You know, they're all clean. They're all already opened up as soon as I thawed them out of the refrigerator, out of the freezer, I mean. I let it sit in the refrigerator, mm -hmm. then I drain it from all the excess juices, and there it is. It's already opening up, so you know it's they're ready to go. Okay, so mm -hmm. what's the first thing that we need to do here? We need to warm up the skillet. Okay. Mm -hmm. and what, do you want, what do you want the skillet on, Maria? Uh, just like low, low for now. Like 250? Yeah. 200? Yeah. Okay. Then we'll get the uh, spices ready. Okay. Okay. Now, what are you doing first? Let me give the let me give the recipe out. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's one pound of shell clams packaged. Mm -hmm. No need to clean and brush off extra residue. One bunch of fresh spinach or mm -hmm. watercress, washed yeah. and drained. Yeah, that's ready right to go. there. Oh, yeah. And then one medium yellow onion sliced, which I think you did green onions, scallions and scallions for the color. Yeah. Okay. One thumb of a ginger julienne. Or as many as you want. As many as you want. And yeah. then three cups of water, mm -hmm. salt, and freshly ground pepper to taste. And there's a bonus. I just thought about it after I sent bonus. you the recipe. Okay. For the color, we add the cherry tomatoes. Okay. That's great. Or grape tomatoes or whatever you want to call it. But it, I like the tiny ones because they put okay. colors on it. So. Okay. So let's move this out of the way so that the camera can see what you're going to do with the ginger. Okay. Well, okay. I, like, I like ginger. I just don't like peeling it. Uh-huh. But I'm going to do it right now without cutting my finger. So the ginger, you're not really going to eat it. You're just going to 
be is it going to be in the it's going to be soup? in the soup though for the flavoring okay and to to make the the Let's um, this out of the way to make the flavor really come out while cooking you might want to Oh, I can smell it you right now. You want to crush it a little Whoa. bit. You want to crush it a little bit. You don't want to make it too, uh... Wow, they just explode. Then you don't want to make it too small because you don't want to accidentally eat it. You just want to place it in there. Okay, for... so what am I going to put in there besides that? Olive oil, my favorite uh, oil. Okay. So is it warm enough? We could put yeah, a little enough. olive oil. We Tell we, me how much. Well... Just enough to like maybe two tablespoons to okay. to cook the ginger. Okay. And you could, this is when you would add garlic if you want to eat, eat it with garlic or your regular um, shallots. Right. But the recipe. Do you want me to put this in there? Yeah. The recipe says, you know, put a, a, a thumb of ginger. But me, since uh, I love ginger so much, I could use the ginger for something else. Mm -hmm. I could use it... Um, for another recipe for right. any stir fry, or I could just crush another one and then put it in a cup and put boiling water and make it my own ginger tea. Oh, okay. Yeah. So if we just cook one ginger right now, um, mm -hmm. well, um, we could um, go ahead and start cooking the the scallions and the tomatoes. Okay. We'll do this. Mm -hmm. Then I'll set aside the clams. Okay. Yeah. And how do you just want them kind of browned or what? Actually, we don't have to wait that long. We could go ahead and pour the clams. Okay. The beautiful clams. And we just stir fry it. Mm -hmm. And for the soup base, we add a little bit of water mm -hmm. and a little Chinese wine, which, um, I, yeah, we have um, my favorite. I still have um, the Chinese wine. They last a long time, but you don't need to pour, pour so much out. It's just for a little flavoring. Do you want me to put water in there too now? Yeah, just a little water. Okay. How much water, Maria? Uh, just enough to, um, to cover the clams. Because the, the clam itself has still got some juice in it. Let's see, what's mm -hmm. it? Yeah. And it colorful. Oh, you could put some peppers now. Or you could just put the black pepper in there. Do you want me to cover it more than that? No, I think that's fine. Okay. Yeah. So how long do you cook it then, Maria? Until it bubbles a little bit. Because all the clams are actually open except maybe this one. Maybe wait for that to open. Should and I cover it, it? Yeah, cover it a little bit. Do you, when do you put the spinach in? Hmm... When all the clams are open. Okay, so we'll yeah. do this. And when the tomatoes are more tender, because it's okay. really firm. <laughs> okay. Okay, but you could go ahead and, um, you know, what do you want to put in? Soy sauce, flavoring, mm -hmm. or uh, that's when you put in everything you want. I mean, instead of spinach, you could use any kind of um, other kinds of, uh, like you could use um, the moringo leaves. Are you familiar with moringo? Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. malungai or... Yeah. Bok choy, baby bok choy. Oh, okay. Okay, but you don't put cabbage and lettuce. So it's more like leafy greens. Okay. Yeah, so maybe we could go ahead and do that. This looks pretty cool, but they're not open yet. Well, I, not all of them, but actually if it doesn't open up, maybe you might, might want to go ahead and discard it because it must be a defective clam. You know, really? You know, oh, a defective you, clam? Well, some people, they're, they're very... Uh, wow. They're very particular about their seafood, you know. Some people are very sensitive to sea. Oh, that one didn't open at all. So I don't take any chances. I mean, even though I bought it in a nice store. But, you know, there's a lot of clams. And th these kind of clams, manila clams, are very um, what fragile. So, fragile. so you might want to be careful not to break the shell because you don't want to accidentally bite or swallow the, oh, the okay. broken shell. <laughs> okay. okay. So now we're going to open the spinach. Mm -hmm. And you want to put that in? Yeah. Let's How much spinach do you want to put in, Maria? As much as you want because, you know, spinach boils down quickly. And then you serve this over rice, huh? Yeah. Or or if you want to make it more Italian yeah. than Filipino, you could do you want toss both? the spaghetti. Do you want both of them? Yeah. You could okay. toss spaghetti into it, too. Wow. That's so that cool. would be uh, Italian, not That's Filipino. Kind of an Italian <laughs> dish, right. Yeah. Yeah, and okay. then just toss and Oops. be careful not to break the clams and then mm -hmm. it should be done soon, you know? 
Okay, and cover so it up. Just leave it like that yeah, and cover it. Yeah, and then let it cook and steam and simmer and or whatever you want to cook. Okay. And then while waiting, you could you want to try another fruit that's oh, popular yeah. Let's back Let's try home. that. Okay. We have a star fruit. The star. It's called a star fruit okay. in English, but in Filipino, it's called balimbing. It's called <laughs> what? Balimbing. I might have to uh, write that down. Oh, okay. <laughs> but um, it, it tastes like a pear. It tastes like a pear. Or like an Asian minute, pear. Don't forget, you got that on there. Hold on. Oh, the sticker. Yeah, it's what does the sticker say? Where is it made? USA. Yeah, it's, but it's grown in a tropical yeah. climate. Part of like yeah. Florida or yeah. someplace like that. Right? Yeah, look at this. Look at the. That's really beautiful. The, it's called a star fruit because when you open it, it it's looks a star like a fruit. star. And, you know, you might want to take out the seed. But this is just um, the brown spot. It's just the. Um, it's okay to eat it if you want, but that's a lot of fiber. Now that one didn't have a seed in it. Oh, isn't that pretty? I mean, some people, I've seen it online. Some people would actually use it as a, a garnish or, right. um, or a decoration on their fruit cake, mm -hmm. pineapple upside down cake, mm -hmm. or they even serve it with syrup. Oh, so there's many good. different ways to eat it, but back home, we don't really eat this a lot. But when you have it, go ahead and eat it. And my husband tried it. He loved it. Yeah. Let me ask you a question. Do you ever, have you ever had persimmon pudding cake? I had persimmon, but not pudding cake. Persimmon I just pudding made, cake. I just, I actually just made it for our other show oh, that okay. we're doing this week on Catherine Raker's, uh, The Chef, You and I. Yeah, I want to try and, it. And um, it, it was, the problem, because um, my recipe actually puts it into a flatter pan and this one recipe I was looking at said use a eight inch square pan well the pudding cake came out that mm, high and I mm. said that's not the way I do it mm -hmm. so it was all right I think mine tasted better and I think I think the persimmons need to be more ripe because you use the pulp of the persimmon. Oh, just like this one. I got the unripened version. Oh, and you I'm, did? Yeah, you could speed up the process by leaving it out or putting right. it in a brown paper bag. Right. But, yeah, don't mix it with the other fruit because they said it ruins it, you know, when they, yeah. all, the, you know, when they all start oxidizing. Right. Uh -huh. But anyway, uh, what else? Um, this one, my husband just said, hey, show this to Catherine when we went to the <laughs> other one. Okay. Okay, well, I've he was here. He, he dropped He me actually oh, yeah. came over. But he has to go back go back to, to bed. Yeah, because he works nights, right? Yeah, like me. So <laughs> how long, what time does he go to work then? Around 2.30 in the afternoon he leaves. And, and then, then he comes home like 4.30 in the morning. By oh, that time, wow. I'm still awake. <laughs> how long has he been doing that? Long um, time? Well, he, that, he's in his profession for... 30 years now. Wow, that's but, a lot of time. But um, he's been doing night shift mm -hmm. more often than day shift. Right. Which is what he likes. And a lot of people, they like working night shift. Yeah. Uh, you like know, me, I like working night shift. Once you get used to it, probably. Mm -hmm. um, so, But yeah, it takes getting used to it because when, when you're on your day off, right. nights off, right. you're still in that night shift mode, so I don't sleep. But right. when I go to the Philippines, where the sun sets at 6 and the sun rises at 6, right. I seem to be more normal. Like, I sleep good over there. Right. Well, after being there for two days because of the jet lag. So, right. so how long does it take to get there? Well, it depends on the airlines. Like, um, it could be a 10-hour flight or a 16-hour flight, d depending on where you're going to land. Like, if we're going to land in, um, like, if we have a stop over in... in um, Korea or Japan, right, right? Before going to the Philippines, then you right. you get to fly just ten hours. Wow, which is really, uh, I don't like. It. It's really well, tough, but to, that's the only way to, to get there, you know. I know. I used to have to fly into Singapore, and it was twenty-two hours. Stopped in oh, China, in okay. Hong Kong, with a long layover. With a long layover, yeah, right? Yeah. So anyhow, I think we need to take a short break, and mm -hmm. we'll be right back on the Chef You and I with Maria Dunaway and myself, Catherine Raker. We'll be right back. We're back on The Chef, you and I, with Maria Dunaway, my Filipino wonderful chef. And we are going to be um, trying this, the clam soup. This Is manila clam, clam soup. soup manila yeah. clam soup. We call it halaan back home. Hala. Say that again. Hala, halaan. Halaan. Yeah, that's okay. the Tagalog word for 
clams, okay. which is like four syllables instead of one. So let's just call it clam soup then, huh? Okay, so uh, show me how you're going to eat this. Okay. Show me. This is how I eat it when I was a kid, when my okay. mom would cook it. Right. I would get my my plate of rice. Right. And I would just simply put my stuff over it or around it. Okay, so let's do yeah. this. Let's take this out of the way. Yeah. See? Okay. See, make sure I don't um, overflow the plate and save the rest okay. for my siblings. Right. There you go. Then I'm ready to eat my portion. Then you could have your portion. Oh. Do you want yours with rice too? Or yes, rice? I do. I okay, do. you could have one. So I'm going to do this. Right. Here. Okay. Yeah. So you might want to save a plate so you could um, dis discard, discard the, shell, the, the shells. shells. Yeah. Okay. It's okay. really um, different when you cook it with the shell rather than without the shell. They sell it mm. now without the shell. Okay. Yeah, it's right, like, I got it. Yeah, it's not the same, you know. Not the same. It's not the same. Yeah. So do you use your soy sauce on it too? Yeah. Okay. I, I mean, I've been putting soy sauce while I'm cooking it, but you could add some more if this you is, want. This is, this this is, is the one uh, you got, the one with the lime juice flavoring on it. That. Yeah. Or you could put it all over. Okay, I can't wait to try this. Yeah. And then, see how easy it is? It just came came out of the shell. I just picked it up. Sh it's show it on camera because people want to see that. Oh, okay. Well, here, let's take one of mine. See, if you just get your um, clam aside and just push it away. Oh, okay, got so it. It's not like muscles. It's easy to Okay, to so what off. I'm going to yeah. do is I'm going to try doing it. Hold on, I'll move this over. Yeah. And then the camera's seeing me, and then I just go like that. Yeah, it comes you, right out. Yeah, just scoop it out and right. just put the uh, clam, those shells gonna, here. Right here. And then throw. And then the you just go like hand. that and get it out, right? Yeah, and then just eat. Eat you up. Eat that. Yeah. All right. So we have a meal. Right. And yeah, this we, is good for a cold winter nights over here or rainy days over there. Right. Yeah. So now this time of year in Manila mm -hmm. and in the Philippines, the is, whole Philippines, yeah. Right. Is what? It's dry, but not as humid as the rest of the year. Uh huh. Yeah. So it's the best time to go, really. Really? Yeah, like uh, January, February, March. Right. I'm Less gonna try, humid. I'm going to try a little of this, okay? Yep. And I'll let you know. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Yeah, tasty. It's really tasty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if you want these recipes, right? And then you have the star fruit over there. Oh, did you try the star fruit yet? Not yet. Yeah, yeah. Let me try one. Mm -hmm. it tastes like almost like a pear. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. And you don't need sugar. Or you could put one if you want, but you don't need sugar. Vitamin C, there you go. That's really important. <laughs> it's really important to try new things all the time. That's what I tell my kids. And, mm -hmm. you know, I have to take a little drink here. Yeah, me too. My, my ginger ale. That's right. So the next time you come, right? When I come back. When you come back, we'll do something really, do something really fun and funky for... A holiday of some sort that you might be having okay. soon. Okay, yeah. like maybe Easter. Yeah, yeah, I'll be here for Easter. Okay, we could so cook we'll, outside. Yeah, we could cook outside again. Yeah. That would be really fun. Mm. What about for the coming? dessert? Where is the dessert? We still have to make the dessert. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> we have to make the dessert. Okay, we'll be right back. Right after these messages. Thank you. We are back on The Chef You and I with Maria Dunaway mm -hmm. and Catherine Raker, and we're doing the Filipino shortbread candies. And by the way, we're going to have these on our website on The Chef You and I, and you get to, you can even print out the recipe and see your television show that we just did, yeah. or that we're doing right now. So what's the first thing that we need to do um, to make this cookie? Maria? Okay, first of all, I want to uh, let you know, that there is a Filipino name for it. It's called pulveron. Pulveron means powder. Okay. It's a powdered candy, which is like this. Okay. You could buy it at the store, but right. you could make it yourself. Right. Okay. Let's see how okay. we do it. Okay. So let's talk about what you're going to do first. You're going to put the flour into the skillet. Yeah. A very low setting skillet. Right. Which you don't is want, warm. You don't want this to burn. Okay. And because this is um, the regular all-purpose flour. Right. You could use wheat flour if you want. 
you want to toast it because you don't want to eat raw flour because yeah. we're not baking anything. Even though it's called a cookie, the only thing we're going to cook is the flour. This is how my sister used to make it when uh, we were in high school. She mm-hmm. actually made this out of scratch instead of going to the store and or going to a bakery to buy it. Okay, so what do you do now? Well, we just kind of toss it, it, toss it around. No, right. no need for butter, no need for oil. Just toss it around until it kind of reduces the, the, you know, the 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 mass. Right. Actually, it doesn't really reduce the measurement. It's still one cup. This is a one cup, um, one cup of flour. Wow. You could really try to just divide it and use mm-hmm. half a portion if you want to use less flour. If you're conscious mm-hmm. about all the calories you get in the flour, mm-hmm. then just keep tossing it around until you could see the change in the color. It would kind of like uh, maybe a turn a little gray? bit. No, you don't want to gray. Like a little bit brown. We are toasting the flour, right? Right, right. I've never heard of toasting the flour, but that's different, right? Yeah, it's different. I mean, I've seen it in other recipes before. Mm-hmm. I mean, uh, I don't really like all-purpose flour, but this is the the way that I saw it. Um, so how I do would, you tell? I would use less as much as I want. Okay, so how do you tell when it's actually done? Good enough. Well, you could actually pick it up and see if it's... A little bit sticky, and you know what? I, it's not. It you know it, it's it's still fine, but you could tell it's more pasty. Yeah, that's when you know it's good. Oh, okay. Because we have the uh, binding ingredient anyway, which is the melted butter. Now what do we do? Yeah, well we could get it out, and um, we could either just uh, mix them all together here, mm-hmm. but we have to make sure it's cool enough. So we could go ahead and turn it off. Okay, turn it off. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. And then we combine, we combine uh, it with a um, cup of sugar, or maybe just half if you want. This is a uh, pure morena sugar. It's um, okay. And then, so you make sure the the skillet is off because you don't want to cook the sugar. No. And the then off. yeah, and then you add half a cup of. Um, Powdered milk, mm-hmm. any powdered milk will do, but it has to be powdered milk. Okay. okay. In the way uh, this recipe goes, you could tweak it according to what you want. If you want, a less, want less sugar, less flour, or less, right. less butter, or less mm-hmm. milk. The important thing is the butter, though. Okay. If you put too much butter, it's going to be too wet, then it's going to be too sticky to be molded. Right. But if you want to add a little bit more or mm-hmm. less... Mm-hmm. Oh, why not, right? I mean, this is the this is the basic recipe, the original recipe. It's all about the butter. A lot of um, variations have come out throughout the years. I've seen it in stores. They would add um, crispy rice flavor, uh, purple yam flavor, cocoa powder flavor. Mm-hmm. They would even add, um, you know, like banana flavor. But I still like the original. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And see, it's like you just want to mix it up. Like it's going to turn into a... A nice dough. Okay. And if it if you think it's too wet, you might want to wait for the butter to firm up a little bit so you could mold it. Or mm-hmm. if you want, you could just add more milk powder into it. Mm-hmm. What I'm trying to avoid is add more flour. I don't like flour. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. I keep saying that I don't like flour. <laughs> and then it's all gonna be hands on from here. Hands on? Yeah, hands on. Cause we're gonna be making cookies. Okay, with, that are really with a special looking mold. Those that are I have. really cool molds. It's, yeah. When they were when when um when this one comes out, they usually wrap it either in cellophane mm-hmm. or uh, wax paper mm-hmm. or Japanese paper for for packaging purposes. If you oh. want to ship it to your friend or you want to travel and give it as a present. Yeah. When they sell it at bakeries back home or over mm-hmm. here, yeah, that's how they do it. So this is what it looks like. Okay. Okay. But I don't want to waste time wrapping paper because I just put them in a big platter and I serve it to the kids and they like it. They like it that way. Yeah, they could eat a lot of it. Okay, Okay. so let me ask you, is it ready to do it? Yeah, is it it a little bit uh, firm now and not too wet because of all the butter we put in? Well, you tell me, buddy. Mm. I'm going to put some more powdered milk in there. I guess we're getting more... um, Calcium at, at least, right? Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. This is my favorite powdered milk when I was growing up. And oh, really? Yeah, I even put it on my um, on my coffee. 
Really? It's a, it's a good creamer. That's good. Okay, and I did bring a flavoring. It's the pandan pine nut flavoring. Yeah. You put a little bit. If you want to put a little variation in. You could even change the color if you want, but um, all of these are just the regular butter flavor. It's just the color of the cellophane. Right. Okay. Okay. Anyway. I think I pretty well mixed yet. Okay. What do you think? Okay. Well, it's, it's ready to be molded. Okay. Okay. This one I bought in the Philippines during my, my um, time there. Year to the previous trip, 2015. And th these are the molds. So the thing we have to do is we just put a little portion of the... Um, do you want a spoon? Yeah, you could use a spoon. Here, let's use these little spoons yeah. I have. Yeah. They're really sweet. Some people, they just dig in directly. But me, I want okay. to really mold it and pat it down to make sure it's so firm. Either. So make sure this, uh, this part is really all the way down. Yeah. Yeah, I think I got it there. Here. Yeah. Is that the way you want to do it? Yeah, I wish I could get a bigger mold, just like this one. This is a bigger size, but this is the only size I could find it at the store. So yeah. here, what I do, I, I mean, you don't have to rush. If you get if you get tired or bored from doing this, you could save the uh, this one mm -hmm. and use it for your um, for your tequila cheesecake. Oh, uh, uh, crust. Good idea. <laughs> or you could use this for. Uh, Pie crust. Okay, so now what do you do now? <laughs> okay, so you tap it down, right? Yeah, okay, you I might want to even this, the outline on it. So it's perfect oval shape. And then, you know, find a nice platter. Like, are you we ready had to serve a this? Platter. Yeah, we did have a platter in the yeah, other room. We, yeah. And that way we don't have to keep picking it up and transfer another plate, just transfer it directly. But anyway, it's, it's wet enough, like a, like a good cement, but look, there's still extra butter on it. But just press yeah. it down and then lift it up. Okay. Oh, that's cute. And it's cute. That's and, really sweet. And depending on the consistency, sometimes you need a little bit of spatula to help chop it off. But yeah. did you notice I put too much butter in there? That's fine. I noticed. Because yeah. you know what? You could put Look this Look at this. We're going to put this onto this Thank plate. Thank you. You could put this in the freezer if you want it yeah. to be more... Um, uh, firm and then you want to wrap it up and uh, bring could it you put these on wax paper and then put them in the freezer Yeah, you could do that, too I mean, I just okay. put them directly on a baking pan in a cookie pan and I brought it out when my kids brought their friends They all love it. They really? Said, they said I've never had this before. What is it? I think it's a Filipino cookie You want to try it now? Yeah, I want to try it. It's all yummy buttery <laughs> mm. That's my favorite well, I have to tell you it's delicious. It's rich Anyway, yeah, well, that's it. Unless, um, so let's put some on here. Yeah, you could make as many as you want. You could decorate it. You could sprinkle um, sprinkles on it. We do have sprinkles. You could put sprinkles. You could put cocoa. I, I don't know how sweet your tooth is, but mine is. Well, I did the thing for Mardi Gras, mm -hmm. and I have those. They're in there right now. So I think our producer is trying to get those for us, mm -hmm. right? You have a king cake? I did a king cake and from I from scratch. It, no, not from scratch. <laughs> I, oh, showed, I showed people. No, we have the sprinkles that go like that. Well, we could use that right here. That's we, fine. We could, they could, this would be like a Mardi Gras style pulveron. Okay. Yeah. So, wait a minute. We so, do have them anyway. Yeah, that's it. And wow, they last right there. They last a long time. I mean, you could you can uh, freeze them, right? Freeze them, you know. And you know what? It's what? um. I don't recommend eating this every day, though. <laughs> no, I can imagine what the calories are in it, right? Uh, I, I don't know. I mean, I think I threw away the package. Oh, here it is. Uh, it says, um, per serving. Um, okay, per 17 grams, which is this. Yeah. 80 calories. One? 10 grams of carbs, 7 grams. Of, oh, anyway, anyway, it's good. Don't eat it every day. Yeah, but okay. how, yeah, so here's what we're going to do. See that I, I brought you those shakers, mm -hmm. so you can d decorate this. And we could put some beads on it too, right? Yeah, whatever no. you want to do. Where are we going to put the baby? The ba forget the baby. <laughs> forget the baby. <laughs> oh, then, well, that's a good idea. We just thought of that, huh? You just yeah. thought of that. Yeah, I thought right. of it. That was cute. Okay. Well, you know, Marty Crow is coming and a lot of fun things to do. I know, and, like, and this is simple. Your kids and you can do this. Mm -hmm. at or teenagers. grandchildren. Or adults, teenagers. Yeah. Adults, yeah. Everybody can do it. Hold on. You save money, too, because you make it yourself instead of buying it from the store. And they really overprice you because it's an important really? product. Really? Yeah. So. so. 
Anyhow, to have a really good time, well, we'll make some more later. Yeah. But we just want to say that we really enjoyed doing this w wonderful Filipino cooking show. And I want to thank you so much for coming. You always are so much fun to have. And you do some really unusual things, right? Mm -hmm. People love this show when you're on. So thank you so much for coming. And uh, if you want to write you, you're on Facebook, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll say what? I'll post it on my Facebook page. Uh, okay. The, which the, is? The video, which is? No, it's not my Facebook. Well, it's just a personal profile page. Yeah, it's a personal profile. But I'll link it to your Okay, so subscribe. we also we also have on our YouTube and all of the stations were syndicated. And the Chef You and I, if you go to the Chef You and I on our website, you will see the recipes, mm -hmm. which I'm going to be putting up. I'm going to be sending tomorrow to it'll be coming out on television in about three weeks right Bill our producer yes so we want to thank you for coming today and we want to say bon appetit and thank you for joining us today on the chef you and I thanks for joining us on the chef you and I show today we'll be back next week with another great and healthy recipe don't forget to visit our website, thechefyouandi.com, for all of our featured recipes, cooking tips, and clips of the show. 